Exercise Avya Indra is a series of exercises uh, that is held biannually between India and Russia. Uh, it is between the Indian Air Force and the Russian Federation Aerospace Forces. The last exercise uh, previously was held in 2014 and now we have the second series of exercises being held in 2018. The exercise is unique in concept in that uh, it is one against the background of an anti-terrorism scenario and second uh, it is because we do not actively participate with individual aircraft that means aircraft belonging to own countries in the exercise instead the personnel of, uh, the, of the other air force visit uh, the participating nation and thereafter they fly aircraft belonging to them for example when i led the team to russia in Lipetsk, we flew the aircraft su-30 sms mig-29 uh, su-25 Mi-8 MTVs and the AN-26 of the Russian Federation Aerospace Forces. And now that a team of 28 personnel is here in India at Air Force Station Jodhpur, they will be flying the Su-30 MKIs, the MiG-29s, the Mi-17 B-5s and the AN-32 aircraft belonging to the Indian Air Force. Phase 2 of the exercise, which is now being held in Air Force Station Jodhpur, commenced uh, on 10th of uh, December. They are here with uh, the Russian team is here with 28 personnel, which is being led by Lieutenant General Yuri Shushko, who is the head of the 4th State Training and Evaluation Center at Lipetsk in Russia. Uh, the team comprises of uh, pilots, administration officers, uh, doctor, maintenance, uh, maintenance personnel, as well as uh, certain other aerospace safety experts. Uh, the idea is to uh, learn from each other's practices, get exposed to the operational conditions and environment in each other's countries and see as to how to, how to use, utilize the assets that are available to both the countries in the best possible fashion. The missions that are planned in the exercise, uh, since they are in the background of an anti-terrorism scenario, they comprise air to ground, as well as certain formations uh, that are necessary to be maintained in case uh, such a scenario. 